Here we go, 14,267. We've got the monster. We've got a 9-5 Young Guns for the Blues. Joel Admundsen. Yeah, I know the Hyman and Thornton one. I did not. I don't remember the third one, so obviously I just missed that game or something. But here's the thing, Jeff, and obviously you're a Jets fan, so full call for the Minnesota Wild. And obviously anyone else can answer. Did that Thornton hit? Was that any different of a headshot than the? Sorry, that hit that the the Winnipeg guy did on Tavares. Was that any different of a headshot than Thornton was? That much of a difference? We've got a Fiala Nashville Predators. Rookie Resume Auto. Smashville, Nashville. Like, to me, I think they're both semi-targeting the head. Maybe, maybe of the, uh, I see things differently, but I didn't see that much. I think Nashville was the last spot. So good job, Nashville, so far. We've got a marquee rookie of Kachuk for the Ottawa Centers. I think it was last night. If he, I, I'm not going to lie. My, my brain's a bit foggy sometimes. I'm 99% sure it was last night. For the Boston Bruins, the 100, David Krejci. David Krejci to Boston Bruins. Marky Rookie, Taylor Lear. Uh, honestly, I don't remember eight feet. I, if I remember correct, I thought it was like a third period penalty or a second period penalty. But there was a penalty on it. I just can't remember when. Parker's rookie of Dvorak for the Coyotes. I'm going to say in the Jets zone. I'm going to say that. I might be wrong. 499 Tyranny. San Jose. Whoever elbowed Tavares in the face. Whatever penalty that was. For the Habs. Exclusive. The 100 of Tatar. And we got a clear cut base, Jacob Chitrin. Coyotes. The difference is, Shane, I don't know why people define teams. Players are dirty, right? Plays are dirty. Teams are not dirty necessarily. Like, Kadri against, what was it, DeBrusque? That was a horrible, horrible, stupid play. We've got a rookie science for the Red Wings, Adina. And a 99 Dre all for the Oilers. That was Frenchy. I don't know what you're saying. Whatever hit was on Tavares, I do not think that was any worse or better than the Thornton one, in my opinion. We've got our rookie science of Jones for the Ducks. And for the Devils, Colin White. Or Colton White, if I could read it properly. Who left his feet? Which one? And a 299 Pasternak for the Boston Bruins. Oh, Perot. Yeah. So, Han, are you saying 8 feet that's worse or better? Or same? Where, where are you on that? I'm just kind of trying to read what you're saying. Are you saying the Perot, Perot hit was roughly the same? Or are you saying it's worse? Again, honest opinion. Young Guns of Yolevi for the Canucks. Shane, I agree. If you defend yourself, apparently you're dirty. I guess they're used to the weaker Leafs team. 
Matthews Dazzlers for the Maple Leafs. It was stupid. Portraits for the Wild of Zuccarello. Well, my point is, though, 8 feet is if Perot doesn't get a fine, I feel like people look at fines as, like, it's significantly worse. That's why I was comparing it to Thornton. Like, Thornton, to me, was not... I don't think either of those checks were good. But I don't see one as being completely worse than the other. Birdie, young guns for the Jets. And if you're giving someone a forearm shiver, I feel like that is targeting the head at some point. So, as I, I don't think the fines mean it dirty. Thornton hit him square in the noggin. And you don't think Perot hit Tavares pretty much right in the face? I feel like we got some Jets biased here. You know, the cleanest team in the league. Sure. <laughs> we got a Brat Young Guns for the Devils. Marky Rookie Rainbow of Gerard for the Avs. With his arm. <laughs> He did hit him. So, is head hunting in general not... We got a Shattenkirk for the Rangers. Again, maybe we differ in opinions eight feet. Head hunting to me is anything that you do to hit someone's head. I don't care if it's to stick your arms. Zaitsev for the Leafs canvas. Again, I'm not even just talking about the Thornton. To me, if someone elbows you in the head, if someone punches you in the head. <laughs> Martin Nietzsche, young guns. For the Canes. You're on my side? Okay, good. So I'm happy we're together on that one. Portrait of Ross Levick for the Jets. Well, that's all I'm saying is I don't think Perot's going to get a fine. Portrait of Logan Brown for the Ottawa Senators. <laughs> yeah. Marky Ricky Retro I follow for the LA Kings. Victor, or, yeah, Victor and Tippin for the Buffalo Sabres. He missed the check. <laughs> Madison Bowie, Young Guns for the Jets. Oh, I agree. Martin Hansel for the Dallas Stars. And a marquee rookie of Patrick for the Flyers. It's funny, though, because 8 feet, I know... Like, I'll give you another good example. I had some Jets fans defend this. And again, I'm not saying it because I'm a Leafs fan, but I just find that play in general dirty. I believe, and I might be wrong, that late hit, I think it was Dubois on Matthews. Like, those to me, I feel like that's a dirty play, but that doesn't need it to happen. Same with the Thornton, to be fair. He didn't need to hit the guy in the face or even hit that guy probably even general. I hate plays that don't need to be done. The Perot one, I agree. He was still aiming to hit him, which is fine. At least he's got that point for him. Giroux canvas for the Flyers. Lebes. What a bad signing handle was. Poor Trit of Longfist for the Rangers. That was a clean hit. Oh, it was a clean hit, but it was late. For the Vegas Golden Knights, Jimmy Schuld. Young gun, Jimmy Schuld. I'm not saying it was a dirty hit. I'm saying it was late. Game Jersey, Braden Point. Tampa Bay. Canvas for the Jets of Wheeler. Matt Waugh, Young Guns for the LA Kings. And a portrait of Hurdle for the Sharks. 
Zadina, glossy rookie for the Red Wings. Max Jones, these are the glossy ones that are mangled. Glossy for the Anaheim Ducks of Jones and a Makar for the Avs. Is that two seconds like Winnipeg Jets time? Because I feel like Winnipeg Jets two seconds time is like really four seconds real time. But I got it, HP. Winnipeg, you know, super clean team. Apparently the refs saw it differently too. I was going to say, is Wheeler okay, by the way? I didn't uh, see the finish on that one. Burray red for the Canucks. Ross Levick for the Jets uh, blue. Exceptional talent of Yamamoto for the Oilers. I did not see if uh, Wheeler came back or not. Rowney for the Penguins red. Dunn green for the Blues. Newcomers of Tyson Jones for the Adams. We got a Johansson for the National Predators red. Kempe Green for the Kings. Impact of Bure for the Canucks. Tavares uh, Islanders red. McAvoy red rookie for the Bruins. And a newcomers of Keller for the Coyotes. Panarin red for the Jackets. Ryan Johansson blue for the Preds. Impact players Mitch Marner for the Maple Leafs. Gerard red for the Avs. Ekblad blue for the Panthers. I think that's, yeah, that's blue. An exceptional town of Panarin for the Jackets. He did come back. Okay, that's good. We've got a line A for the Jets red. OV for the Caps blue. Impact players of Lidstrom for the Red Wings. We've got a Heed red rookie for the Sharks. Done for the Blues. A uh, blue for the Blues. A career spanning. Hashik. That was a good game, though. That was an, honestly an enjoyable game. I didn't. I think I missed some of the third, or quite a bit of third. But that was quite the enjoyable game. <clears throat> and Calgary beating Montreal, boy, that's gonna make that interesting. Calgary is what eight points, seven points behind Montreal now. As a Leaf fan, I hope they play the Habs. I would love to see that, so I'm hoping Calgary doesn't pull it off. Mike Riley for the Ottawa Senators canvas. But man, Calgary's got to make a push. McNiven, marquee rookie uh, retro for the Habs. Roman Yossi, retro award winners for the Preds. They're four points behind him now. Mitchell Young Guns for the Hawks. Jeez. If it's that close, that is scary. Portraits for the Maple Leafs of Joseph Wool. Sharon Golvich Young Guns for the Devils. Uh, that'll be, I believe, a random between. It's Detroit and Chicago, so it'll be random. Young Guns, Keandre Miller, Rangers, almost all the uh, career spannings, almost all of them, I think there's only two or three that are not randomed, Kiv Lennox, Portraits for the Jackets, Lithuania, wow, well appreciate it, Paul Mary for the Devils, Canvas, Marky Rookie for the Rangers, Lafreniere. Sen Young Guns for the Devils. You have that one? Okay, I'll write it down for them. Belzeal for the Habs. Canvas of Rupe Hints. Diala Stars. Regula Young Guns for the Hawks. So speaking about random things. Award winners. Roman Yossi for the Preds. Did anyone watch UFC? And the legs. <laughs> Kiv Linux for the Blue Jackets. Young Guns. 
We've got an award winner's black border to 100 of Hedman for the Tampa Lightning. Uh, eight feet. Are you talking about like just for the Leafs? Do I not want to see or what? Like NHL. Marky Rookie Blue Harley for the Stars. That Weidman leg break was oh my god, disgusting. Rookie Materials flashback Kirby Doc for the Hawks. The odds, though, of Weidman having that happen to him after it happened to Silva in that fight. Marky Rookie of McNiven for the Habs. Portrait of Connor Ingram for the Preds. And a Patty Kane for the Hawks. French variant. I saw the tweet, yeah. Marky Rookie of Burden for the Jets. Mommy, I'm not going to lie, Jeff. I, I do think he is absolutely lying. Shade Theodore, Vegas Golden Knights, canvas. And we've got a Maloche, Young Guns, for the Sharks. The reason why I don't think they brought in what they said they brought in, because I'm pretty sure, did they not do early buys for that? Wasn't it a cheaper price earlier on, and then it just got more expensive as it got closer to? Or is that a different fight I'm thinking about? Malik Canvas for the Hawks. The thing is, in all honesty though, 8 feet, and I do want you guys to take this in absolutely for a grain of salt. True Young Guns for the Sharks. So, somebody I know is very close with GSP. Braden Point Canvas for Tampa. Like, very, very close with GSP. And they always told me absolutely 100% ignore all the posted like payouts. Jack Hughes canvas. Because he basically said there'd be a lot of times that GSP would show like a half million dollar pay. Harkins Young Guns for the Jets and clear six to ten million dollars. So at the end of the day nobody really knows what all these guys are getting other than disclosed payouts. Which is only for the Athletic Commission. So. And the Athletic Commission just has to hold that money until everything goes through. So that's probably why all the numbers are lower naturally. Canvas of Kane for the Sharks. Portrait of Martin Cott for the Avalanche. Lilligren, Young Guns for the uh, Maple Leafs. Uh, no, I, I will tell you, 8 feet, it had nothing to do with revenue. Max Domi for the Habs. I'll give you a good example. I kind of regret it, I'm not going to lie, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. We had a chance to advertise on Jake Shields' uh, shorts. Vanasek, Young Guns for the Caps. When he fought GSP in Toronto, it would have cost me 10000 for uh, a side leg. Max Domi for the Habs. Jake Shields that night. Dazzlers of Marner for the Leafs. I think his disclose was very, well, not very little, obviously, prospectively. It was like hundred grand or something. He made about $2 million on that fight for UFC pay. The thing is, they just they don't show that, I'm guessing, for their competitive advantage, obviously. But I can tell you they make a lot more than you guys realize. Portraits of Jack Hughes for the Devils. Carlson Young Guns for the Hawks. It's just a different avenue. Boxing likes to flash that and show that. Mikey Anderson Young Guns for the LA Kings. 
Portraits for the Rangers of Zabinijan. The other thing ain't feeding anyone else. I'll show you why there's hypocrisy in these kind of things. I'll honestly tell you. So, on that Jake Paul tweet, he's calling out the UFC, right? And everyone goes, oh, UFC doesn't show their pays. Does anyone honestly just ignore that Jake Paul's disclosed pay was 600000 for that fight? But yet he claims he made a boatload more. So why is it that when his disclosed pay is six ninety, we all believe that he made, you know, $10 million. But if the UFC pays a guy 500000 okay, that's only what he made. I just find it weird that all those people saying that, you know, Jake Paul made way more because he said that. You know, I just find it weird that they believe it instantly rather than looking at other factors. Danton Heenan, Marky Rookie for the Boston Bruins. Marky Rookie of Chitrin for the Coyotes. No, no, I know that wasn't the point, 8 feet, but he's also wrong on that point. Kyle Connor for the Jets canvas. Kyle Connor for the Jets. Young Guns, Johan V2 for the Devils. Canvas of Taves for the Hawks. Portrait of Santini for the Devils. I just think a lot of the stuff he said, he didn't really make sense. So he's saying he made more in the last fight on his third fight. Bodker for the Sharks than anyone on the roster. That's just not true. Like, again, that's just factually not true. He doesn't know that. We got a Young Guns, Marner Line A. Like, Lesnar has, has openly said he's made like 5 or $10 million on his fights. Yet, I believe his guaranteed purse is like a million. So, he's clearly, there's obviously a lot of money getting thrown out there. Portrait of Aho for the Canes. Spears, Young Guns for the Devils. And let's also be real. Which guys in boxing would bring the numbers in MMA or any other things that Jake Paul can do? Logan Couture for the Sharks. Like, I'm not going to lie. If Carmaro Usman went to boxing, he ain't getting a million pay-per-view buys. So, so much for that boxing money if you can't bring in people. Lekkanen for the Habs. And if I stand corrected, Portrait of Sanford for the Caps. Didn't someone on Jake Paul's fight card, didn't some of those boxers get eight grand? So you can't exactly tell me that this is a rich sport sometimes. Kapanen, Young Guns for the Leafs. Again, I might be wrong on those numbers. I thought it was very low. David Backus, Rainbow for the Boston Bruins. Marky Rookie for the Jets of Line A. We've got a Rookie Materials of Fashing for the Buffalo Sabres. Jake Paul's fight card, yeah. I, I, I agree that... The handful of boxers make a ton of money. There's a handful. But if you look at the average fight card for boxing, look at the bottom tier guys. They make nothing. Bertuzzi, Young Guns for the Red Wings. This is a, yeah, I can speak, yeah. I know. That always kind of sucks on this. It's just not... Uh, Giordano for the Calgary Flames canvas. Retro Rookie of Chitrin for the Coyotes. Portrait of VC for the Rangers. So all I'm saying, 8 feet, the reason why I semi-disagree with this tweet, Oliver Shellington for the Flames, is nobody knows what actually these guys make. Marky Rookie of Lekkanen for the Habs. And I'm saying, is this a different approach? Boxing, they absolutely love to sit there and go... This is a $100 million fight. 
The difference is I feel like a lot of the UFC guys don't or don't want to disclose what they actually get paid. Now, man, I don't know why, but... Like, the thing is, would anyone... I wouldn't be surprised if Kamaru Usman got... Three, four, five million last night. I wouldn't be surprised if we got one million. I wouldn't be surprised if we got eight million. Like we don't know. Two ninety nine for the Rangers of Longfist. Nine 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 Evans for the Montreal Canadiens rookie. Got a face for radio. We've got for the Penguins Gensel, Lord Stanley Legacy Relics. Auto facts of Johan Larson. Johan Larson. Um, I will say though, eight feet. Up. So, I know a little bit about this. Shabbat for the Sens remnants. I, again, I'm not gonna pretend I'm an expert on this, but I think people misinterpret how much money they actually like. There's so much more things that go on in the UFC. LA Kings, quick 299. I'll give you a good example. Now, I don't know if it's accurate still right now because of their new deal. Number to 30, Bobrovsky Pink for the Panthers. But if I remember correctly, pay-per-view normally automatically took 50% of the revenue, which is crazy. Blows my mind. But that's always what pay-per-view took in general. Rookie Redemption, Winnipeg Jets. So you got to think. If they have, a, let's say, a million pay-per-view buys at, at the time, it was 60 bucks or 50 bucks, whatever it was. That's 60 million. So UFC makes 30 million, okay? For the sake of this conversation, we'll say they make 30 million. Let's say McGregor makes 8 million. Let's say his opponent makes 2. Now you're down to 20 million. Now you have the venue... You have all the staff, the advertising, and everything. I would guess the UFC would probably clear anywhere from 5 to 15 or 20 million. But again, they're putting on the show. Spectrum Future Watch of Lafferty for the Penguins. I don't know why people are like surprised, but like the UFC, I don't think makes. They make a lot of money, but I don't think they make as much as people think they make. Tobias Bjorn fought Future Watch Auto Patch for the LA Kings. I think also people forget there's probably like three, four, five hundred employees that work in the back end year round. I'm sure that's not cheap. If I have to guess. We've got a Future Watch of Loyster Ryan for the Carolina Hurricanes. Future Watch Auto. Uh, moment of lung fist for the Rangers. Well, there's not assumptions. Pay-per-view does take 50%. You can look that up. Automatically, that's 50% gone. Keith for the Hawks. Obviously, 8 feet. It's not an assumption to say that they pay a lot of money for advertising. Spectrum of Tuca Rass for the Boston Bruins. And I'm sure renting out places or the cost to, uh, for production... Georgia for the Rangers. Obviously, the people to set up all the like the ring and stuff. That's all money. That's not free for them. Essentials of Crosby for the Penguins. Roman Yossi for the Nashville Predators. Wallman Young Guns for the Blues. DeBrusque for the Boston Bruins Limited. Uh, if the Perlinet fills up, absolutely I will. Moments of Carey Price for the Habs. Moments of Rask for the Boston Bruins. Mitchell Stevens, Young Guns for Tampa Bay. So, I'll, I'll give you a fun one, eight feet. If anyone honestly wants to do research, because there's very few opportunities, essentials of Gibson for the Ducks to actually see pay. Well, they could make $100 million if that's what they brought in. 
Seth Jones for the Jackets Limited. Like, again, HP, if they only sell a million pay-per-views, how could they bring in $100 million? Stevenson for the Vegas Golden Knights. If the pay-per-view people take half the money. Essentials of Besser for the Canucks. So if they take half the money and they only bring in $60 million, I don't know where that magical $40 million came from. I know live gates sometimes make them good money. But I can tell you they definitely... I would think maybe maybe the uh, Habib and McGregor fight brought in $100 million. I wouldn't be surprised on that. Actually, for sure, I think it would have brought that. But I, I would think their average, you know, 600,000 pay-per-view card, nowhere close to that. We've got for the Habs, number to 50, Ink Sweaters, P.K. Subban. Subban. For the Philadelphia Flyers, Jeru. But what I'm saying though, HP, is I can't assume things. I don't understand why you're saying I'm assuming things. If I do a group break that costs $100 a spot, and I bring in 31 uh, spots, that's $3,100. Like, you can't just sit there and be like, well, I made $20,000. Smith, Pelly, Shifley, Conley, Schwartz. Like, literally, if they sell pay-per-view, that's your numbers. That's, I, I feel like that's a revenue. And then obviously Live Gate, but Live Gate's not going to be like $20 million. Quad jersey, that'd be random. Now again, as I said, with ESPN, it is slightly different. So I'm talking about beforehand. Net cord number to 25 for the LA Kings. Jonathan Quick. Uh, Ryan, I, uh, I tried to answer that already. If it fills tonight, it'll go tonight. So yes, if it fills, it goes. If it doesn't fill, then most likely tomorrow. And we've got an LA Kings Kopitar. Kopitar. All right. Weird net card, yeah. Uh, well, no, I'm saying I went off of what you said about McGregor making eight million, so I just used those numbers. New Jersey Broder. No, they don't smell sticky, no. They don't smell sweaty. Tarasenko for the Blues. For the Habs, 399, Ryan Paling. Ryan Paling. For the Sharks, to 99, Joe Thornton. Esteemed green. For the Hawks, number to 45, Patty Kane, Century Momentous. Century Momentous. For the Dallas Stars, to 75, L'Esperance, Red. For the Habs, Stature, uh, Rookie Reliance, green to 49 auto, paling. I think there's a bit of a scratch on this one, by the way. Top above the Reliance. Green auto. For the Avalanche, number to 20, Connor Timmins. Had to change the subject. Hey, it's all good. 
these uh, nights are for is conversation. All conversation is good conversation. And a Suzuki Reliance for the Habs. Like, again, to be clear to anybody, when we have conversations, the only thing I know is from what I run a business, and anyone who runs a business will tell you there's a lot of weird fees that just happen. So I know when I do events and stuff, it's not just like cut and dry, you brought in this, like, you know, there's always miscellaneous expenses that somehow happen that eat into it. We got a orange of price for the Habs. And an Ice Premier's jersey of Bluger for the Penguins. Teddy Bluger. Yeah, you know what? Again, eight feet. I'm not going to say we differ on that. But I feel like with their roster, you're always going to have unhappy people. We've got a green of Flurry for the Vegas Golden Knights. And a sub-zero of Makaya for the Leafs. Like, I'll give you a good example, eight feet. I guarantee you I have former staff that loved it here. And I guarantee you I had former staff that hated here. They all had the same opportunities. Heist get in for the Dallas Stars. And we got an exquisite to $3.99 of Paling for the Habs. Maybe some of those employees were just bad employees. <laughs> for like UFC or there's bad people or complainers or whatever. Eric Stahl Green for the Wild. And a $9.99 Nico Sturm for the Wild. I think every workplace has that. I guarantee you every workplace has several people that think they should be paid more. They work harder than everyone. Goudreau for the Flames. $4.99 Timoshov for the Leafs. And a Bulkfist exquisite to $3.99 for the Hawks. And then you have other guys who are just, they're workhorses and uh, they never complain. The good news is eight feet. I absolutely, uh, I absolutely do not care how much money UFC makes as long as they put on good fights. So as long as the guys are fighting and they're happy to fight, I'm happy to watch. Did they go on to make millions at the other car <laughs> shop? No. My point is some people are just never happy. That is just life. We've got a draft board of Forsberg for the Caps. We've got a blueprint for the Capitals of Ovechkin. We've got a goal of JVR for the Leafs. Draft board of Nash for the Jackets. Well, that's also different. Lesnar was a beast before coming to UFC, so that's unfair. Goal for the Penguins of Crosby. McGregor is a different animal. He only got his name because of the UFC. And immediate impact of Samuelson for the Coyotes. So I, you can't use those two guys as examples. Immediate impact of Shore for the LA Kings. Lesnar was a beast before. UFC UFC did not need Le or Lesnar did not need UFC. Blueprint of Carey Price for the Habs. And maybe R. Veligan, if he's listening, could tell me. I believe Lesnar is still one of the highest paid guys in WWE before, if not the highest paid. We got a Thermal Threats of Ehlers for the Jets. Thermal Threats for the Jets. Rising Force 2999 of Gurgensons. Buffalo Sabres. Rising Force Gergensons. Thermal Threats for the Kings. Wayne Gretzky. They didn't renew whose contract? WWE for Len uh, Lesnar? Blueprint of Rene for the Preds. I, I don't follow wrestling like WWE, so I don't really know. So I'm not going to... Blueprint of Rask for the Boston Bruins. 
We've got a blueprint auto, Malcolm Subban. Boston Bruins. Wasn't he getting paid like five or ten million dollars for like five appearance uh, appearances a year? Dual force or dual force for the Calgary Flames. Six forty nine. Goudreau Monahan. If anyone watches wrestling and wants to help uh, chime in on that, because I don't even pretend I know how many times Lesnar has fought, but I thought he had a pretty sweet gig. Full force freshman Matt Pwemple. Auto Senators. Blueprint of Patrick Waugh for the Habs. And if they didn't renew Lesnar, what's Le is Lesnar like retired now officially? And a blueprint of Subban for the Boston Bruins. He got popped for roids. Is he got popped for roids in WWE? They actually like I'm, I'm not saying it's rudely. They actually test for that. Oh, cool. We got a palladium for the Calgary Flames, Lenny McDonald. Oh, that I knew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, I feel like anyone who's surprised about those gigantic monsters, if they take any sort of performance ending drug. I don't know why that's a surprise. Lesnar is like a beast, but man, does not surprise me of any of those guys. They're just, they're way too big. For the LA Kings 99 endorsements, Bernie Nichols. Like to be fair, Lesnar was a beast when he was young, so at least maybe give him the benefit of the doubt. But the guy that goes to Bobby Lashley or whatever, no way, man. That guy, that has to be on something. Some sort of enhancement. <laughs> he is just too damn big. If I'm talking about the right guy, I might be wrong on who it is. For the Jets, two ninety nine exquisite rookie patch, Kyle Connor. Two ninety nine for the Jets, Kyle Connor. Sweet. Ooh, I think we got a diamond. I think we got a two forty nine Brent Burns, San Jose. Two forty nine. Championship rings of Trevor Daly for the Penguins. Trevor Daly. I'll do the back here. 99 one office jersey number technically of Jack Eichel. 99 pure black face, Jack Eichel. For the Jets, the 149. Mark Trifley. And we've got number to 99, Diamond for the Maple Leafs, Connor Brown. He's having a great year this year. Connor Brown Diamond. All right. I, I know I'm probably extremely biased on this. But I did collect both sets. Does anyone else agree that the 1617 diamond year was just the nicest of the diamonds? Again, obviously I might be biased because I did do 1516 and 1617. I just find that that's such a sexy looking diamond. Hey, this guy. We've got a 299. Kevin Fiala. Nashville Predators. What's up, Golden? How you doing, sir? 
Smashville Nashville gets on the board again. We've got a 99 Patty Kane. You did not like 1516. I didn't mind it. I just thought it was a little, a little bland. Vancouver Canucks team logo jumbos of Vertanen. Jake Vertanen. We've got for the Calgary Flames, Sam Bennett. Calgary Flames, Sam Bennett, auto. For the Flyers, Diamond Mine Relics. I know that's a, supposed to be a patch number to 50 of Jeremy Roenick. Philadelphia, JR. And we've got a short print jersey to 35, John Tavares for the Islanders. Good night for Calgary, yeah. And I'm happy you guys like that hit select. That thing took me uh, so many freaking hours to build. So I'm legit happy uh, that you guys enjoyed it. Or are enjoying it. Those things are so damn lengthy to build. Boo Calgary. I wonder why you would say that, Golden. Come on. 249, Jonathan Huberdo. Florida Panthers. For the Hawks to bring cat to 199. For the Capitals to 299, Madison Bowie. Formerly one time. I wish we did. Oh my god, we've been asked so many times about that one. Capitals. For the Panthers, Owen Tippett. Owen Tippett. For the Tampa Bay Lightning signature booklets, Nikita Kucherov. Who do they play tomorrow? Who does Calgary play tomorrow? Kucherov. For the Dallas Stars, Yurianov jersey. And a Logan Brown for the Ottawa Senators. Montreal again. Woo! Is that the last time they uh, they play again? Habs and uh, Flames, or do they got more? For the Panthers, Roberto Luongo. 399. For the Carolina Hurricanes rookie, Sebastian Aho. Aho. For the Oilers, 299 rookie patch auto, Paul URV. So that is going to be as close to a playoff game as we're going to get then tomorrow, isn't it? Paul URV, 299. For the Maple Leafs, rookie jersey, Mitch Marner. Maple Leafs, Mitch Marner. Sadness. For the Islanders, booklet auto, Beauvillier. For the Oilers, Connor McDavid, 199, second year jersey. McDavid. And we got a Beauvillier for the Islanders. Let 
There you liked it. I've always found it interesting the likes and the dislikes on uh, YouTube. I don't really understand what the point of it is. Other than like feeling good potentially about yourself or like your stream, what's if there's literally no point to it, I don't understand why it really matters. We've got a McCann rookie for the Vancouver Canucks. Rookie jersey, sorry. For the Winnipeg Jets, Andrew Kopp. It's the second year jersey is going to be like 400 bucks. Pretty much with the state of how things are going, Jeff. For the Calgary Flames, Yuri Hoodler. Yuri Hoodler, 399. For the LA Kings, rookie patch auto to 375, Derek Forbort. Forbort. 375. Nice patch. For the Penguins, legendary premiere autograph, Paul Coffey. Paul Coffey. For the Carolina Hurricanes, a 65 Spectrum rookie auto of Slavin. And for the Blue Jackets, not a bad one, Josh Anderson, Rookie Auto. Josh Anderson, Mr. Anderson. Uh, where's my knife? Bort, 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 bort. for the Oilers, Leandre Seidel. Add money. Nice. 249 rookie patch auto for the Blue Jackets, Elvis Mers Lickens. Mers Lickens, 249. For the Montreal Canadiens, Splendor, Rookie, Patch, Auto, Ryan Paling. I think it's one office jersey number again, isn't it? Ryan Paling, 24 of 36. For the Rangers, Signature Materials, Patch, Auto, Adam Fox. Adam Fox. For the Winter Peg Jets to 249. Hanola Patch Auto. Hanola. And we've got a Patrick Waugh for the Avalanche all time. I think your first few products, you'd probably have a cool autograph, and then you'd start realizing how tiring it is to write the same thing several thousands of times over and over and over again, and then you'd shorten it up, probably. That's why I don't, I, I honestly do understand why all these athletes, after a while, especially when you're superstar athletes, why they shorten their signatures. Because holy jeez, man, it, it would be, like, I sign checks, and sometimes I sign them like a hundred at a time. And even after the hundredth one, my signature is definitely a hell of a lot more sloppier than it was when it started. So I do actually understand why these guys, I wouldn't say deliberately do it, but it makes sense to me. Two forty nine, Craig Anderson. Ah, oh, to bus centers. 
249 rookie patch auto for Winnipeg. Chase DeLeo. Chase DeLeo, 249 rookie patch auto. That's a sick card. A dual scripted materials. So dual patch auto out of 15 for Arizona. Strom and Dvorak. Strom Dvorak. It's hard to be king. I, I love those cards. Brilliant autograph for L.A. of Rogi Vachon. Brilliant auto. Rogi Vachon. For the Boston Bruins, 249 rookie patch auto, Brandon Carlo. Beautiful patch. And we got a 249 Brent Burns San Jose. Giveaway is coming up right after this.